Welcome to the Rust Edit course. And this is the first tutorial and this is the initial setup. After you download it and installed Rust Edit, the download link will be in the video description. You will be greeted with this screen if you click on the Rust Edit launcher. Just check for updates. Always make sure you're running the newest version. And then when it's done, when it's done updating or when you when there's no updates available, click play. So this will give you another little screen and here you can choose a screen resolution if you want it windowed mode this means you can resize it and move it around a little bit easier um, i'm going to have it full screen you can choose the graphics quality uh, depending on your setup you might want to lower this a little bit and in my case i also have three screens connected so i choose a screen you might not have this option so when you are happy with these settings just click play so you see it's loading up a few things for you, there's probably going to be a button saying here, uh, you need to load the Rust assets. What you are going to do, you're going to open up your Steam. With your Steam open, you're going to go to Games and View Games Library, then go to Rust, right click it and click on Properties. Click on Local Files and here you can choose Browse Local Files. This will open up the proper direction or folder for your Rust assets. So just click on that button that will be at the bottom here for you and direct your, um, direct that little pop-up menu to that folder and it w this way uh, you should have the proper assets loaded up and you should see these uh, options here create and load map since you probably never run it before we are going to create a map first just to load into the editor and see that it works so we're going to ignore this for now and just click on create once again, depending on your hardware, this might take a little bit. So when it's finished, you should have a ocean if you didn't change any of the settings. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the user interface of Rust Edit. And I'm going to try to make it not boring. So I'll see you in the next video and we'll do the essential things of your, what you'll need to know. And um, then we're going to dive into the fun stuff. So see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this beginners to advanced Rust edit course. There will be a link in the description to the playlist that has all the videos that are currently in the playlist available. And if I helped you out in any way, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm out. Peace.